must be wondering why this crazy guy start a block under the rain. Yeah, so it's actually raining season in Bangkok now, so uh, I got no choice. I gotta start the vlog under the rain. So um, I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, here's a little update on what's going on with my life. Okay, so as you can see right now, I'm at a different location, different place uh, from like, two years ago when I last vlog. Okay, so I already moved to a new place, so no more staying in the condo. First of all, staying in the condo is quite uh, difficult to make videos because of the space in the condo is tight and uh, I don't have much like room for me to work on the bike. So thank God that. I got a house now, so I can do much uh, videos or update on my bike. It's, it's, it's been like, I think, one and a half years that I didn't start my Aerox. But the bike is doing well. I just uh, fix a new fuel pump because I'm running E85 ethanol, so E85 uh, when used long term, it will like damage the fuel pump. So I changed a new fuel pump, and but I didn't record it because it's just like a try and error because I'm not sure whether it will start up or not. But after changing it, everything goes uh, smoothly and the bike starts to come to life so um, but there's like a few uh, rusty parts on the bike like the exhaust and uh, at the bottom on the stand but it doesn't matter so I maybe I, I can spray take out the exhaust and spray black uh, after that maybe I'll see what can I, I can do on the bike and maybe I will vlog if you want show you what, what I, I did to the bike but on the fuel pump I will show you how it looks like uh, after a, maybe 5,000 kilometers running on E85 ethanol uh, I mean, I'll show you how the fuel pump looks like. The wire, everything is snapped when I first uh, took off from from the original tank, and everything is damaged. The wire, everything is snapped because of the E85. So that's one this advantage of using E85 fuel on cars or bike. Even though if you are using on cars. I guarantee you that um, the, the the wire or the fuel pump will damage because of the, uh, the E85, the ethanol. It will make like the wire, everything. It will like uh, crease up. You know, it's just just easy, easy to snap. Like uh, it's like a wood. It's like a stick. Everything you bend, it will snap off if you use uh, E85. So it's something that is not good but it's powerful. So there are uh, advantage on the power side and there are disadvantage on the maintenance side. So yeah. And if you guys are wondering where I put the camera, where where you guys at? I'm under the umbrella and you guys obviously is in a box. Here, yeah. the box. You are in the box, so don't worry, you won't get wet. So, anything else? I guess, um, I guess I'll just show how the bike how it looks like. Let's go, guys. Right?
There's a little rust here. Rust at the screw. And a bit of stain here. Radiator is good. Everything is good. Yeah, there's a rust. Um. A little bit here. Oh. Rust under here, but this is just normal rust. And Color came off. Uh, stickers. Uh, well, just that it off. Yeah. This is after one and a half year. I parked my bike and I didn't start, didn't open. It's covered, so this is what happened. Everything seems good. Brake is fine. Oh yeah, I, and I do change the fuel on the brakes last few days ago. A little bit of rust, but it's all fine, working well. Okay. I ordered a screw to lower the fork so maybe you arrive in these few days if you guys want to see me doing a video of how to lower a, a standard fork do leave a comment below and let me know and I'll vlog it if not I'll just change without vlogging it okay I guess that's all or do you want me to start the bike? Okay, I think I just start the bike for, for you guys. Alright, I got the keys now, so... Click on the brakes and start. Okay, I guess that's all for now and I'll see you guys maybe in a fog video. Take care and peace. Bye.